I'm Max Willock and today I'm going to be taking you through start to finish my top exercises and top tips to achieving a handstand. First of all, the most important thing you need to be able to support your body weight. So it's upper body strength and wrist strength. So the first exercise, what we're going to be looking at doing is making sure your wrists are strong enough to hold your body weight. First one is literally in a front support, solid position, literally just pushing up onto your, the balls of your fingers there, pushing up. It's harder than it looks, this exercise. But without strong wrists, you're going to really start to see after repetitions and practices doing handstands, you're going to really start to get wrist pains and aches. So you've got to make sure that those joints are strong enough to hold your weight. So the next exercise would be anything improving your upper body strength. But a really good one is front support again, but shoulder shrugs. So going down and dropping down as low as you possibly can and pushing up as high as you can. One of the most common mistakes in a handstand, people go really soft in their shoulders. So you wanna make sure you're pushing as tall as you possibly can through your shoulders in that position. So just repeat this exercise as you go lower and pushing up to the very top position that you can get to. Also what's massively important in a handstand but hugely underrated is your core strength in a handstand. A lot of people think it's just about upper body but it's actually a lot about your core as well. The straighter your handstand you want to be aiming for a perfect line from your fingers to your toes. So a lot of people have a common mistake of doing an arch position which also creates so much weight on your back and on your shoulders which causes back pain and a lot of other problems. So just literally a simple plank position, you'll get the position right. So in terms of holding that plank with that straight body, not sagging down in the middle and not too high, but just sitting in the middle. And that position there, if someone was to lift your feet, you'd almost literally lever up and stay in that as you go to handstand. So working on those exercises, you can do many, obviously many core exercises, but a plank is a massively effective one. So the next stage, what we'll be looking at doing, once you've kind of built up a bit of strength in your upper body, you'll be looking at transferring your weight over your hands. So it's small bunny hops, and you take it to wherever you feel comfortable. Starting small, but building up until you feel your weight over your shoulders, and you'll start to get really comfortable with doing that. Making sure, obviously, at first you take it slowly so you don't go over the top, but making sure you go to where you're comfortable and build it up and eventually you'll get to pause at the top and come back down. So the next one is probably the most important one for the shaping. So you want to be doing a handstand but a piked handstand with your feet on a raised surface. So you want to be putting your hands a little bit away but jumping your feet up on the block. And as you can see with my position of my body it's like a right angle. So a pike position with your bum over the top of your head and you see that line should be fairly straight as you go from my fingers up to my bum there. And then if we, if we find that exercise quite easy, we're going to start to slowly lifting one leg up towards that handstand position and slowly back down and exactly the same with the other side. And it's all about not rushing these exercises. You've got to feel comfortable with that weight over the top of your hands so you feel comfortable as you eventually learn the full handstand skill. So when you master all of them, the next stage is to walk up slowly, very, very slowly towards the handstand position. So you want your hands fairly close to the blocks and then very, very slowly walking your feet up and then back down. Using the kind of the wall or the blocks, whatever you're doing it against, to really take your weight so that you've got less weight on your shoulders. And if we go again and keep obviously repeating this until you feel comfortable. And then once you're at the top, you can really slowly kind of take your toes off and really start to feel that balance in that handstand position. And then we can spin around. And this next phase is facing the other way against the block. So then you lean your back against it and you slowly lift a handstand. It's obviously going to help you build the strength as well. 
um, but help you build that control as you edge towards the handstand position. So if you put your hands fairly close to this time and you lean forwards and slowly lift up, leaning your weight on the wall and back down. And again, just pushing against those blocks or that wall to take that weight away. And again, obviously if you rush the stages before, you're gonna end up really just kicking up and eventually collapsing. So you wanna make sure that your strength is there and you've built up with all the exercises prior to that one. So finally, when you feel massively confident with everything you've done prior to this, the next stage is obviously kicking up very, very slowly to handstand. Now the top tips, Make sure your hands are about shoulder width apart, not too wide, it becomes too difficult or not too close because then the balance is 10 times harder. Your fingers are open, you wanna make sure that your base is as wide as possible. And the most, one of the most common mistakes is having a head in. You need to be looking at your hands because that's gonna make you help your balance, help your awareness around while you're in the handstand position. So if you slowly kick up to handstand, what you wanna be doing is stepping forward, hands on the floor, but very, very slowly. So don't shoot over as you're gonna literally go flying over handstand. Just really, really slowly lift that one leg up and you wanna be trying to get to that position there and come back down and you'll very, very slowly eventually build up towards getting that control, towards holding that and slowly joining your legs. And if you notice, it's all about having that straight line. A common mistake is obviously, like I spoke about at the beginning, is a lot of people are like this and the weight that's powered onto your back doing that is gonna really, really, ache after some time. So having a straight back, pushing up through your shoulders, nice and solid, looking at your hands, will literally make you better hold it for 10 times longer. You'll be a lot stronger and a lot more solid in that position. And a lot of people, I think it's all about holding that solid handstand straight, handstand shape. What a really good practice thing to do is actually walk about in handstand. So it's not a mistake, it's actually a really, really good training phase. So if you literally have a handstand position and you're walking about, and that's going to help you keep your balance. So if you're falling over the top, you can step forwards. And if you're falling back that way, you can step back. What I'm still going to do is actually condi condition your muscles that you need for a handstand a lot more, a lot faster, so that you can even hold it when you want to hold it for a lot longer as well. And it's going to make you better recover your positions. So if you're holding a handstand, you're tilting each way, you can quickly, quickly recover because you're trained to do exactly that. So there we go. That's my tutorial for handstands start to finish with some of those Brilliant, brilliant exercises to help you speed up your journey towards achieving a handstand. I hope you enjoyed it. Give everything a try. And if you've got any questions, comment them down below.